Night Owls and welcome back to another Sims video. Today we are doing kind of a mix between Sims and Minecraft. Yes, I was like, you know what? I love playing The Sims. I love Minecraft. I know I don't play Minecraft a lot on my channel. I mostly do like build videos, but I don't actually play it. The thing is, when I try to play Minecraft on my own, I just tend to get bored quicker and faster and I just like can't finish playing a game of Minecraft. Like I started the deep sea one. I said that I was going to go to the end and then that never happened. And I just, I don't know. I just, I know I, I was so close to finishing it. I was going to end it right after we went to the end dragon. But for some reason I just, I'm like, eh, I'm not going to do it. So I didn't do it. And I just put left the video as is. I kind of gave up on it, which kind of sucks. We're going to be creating three Sims, not just two, three. The first one is Alexa. I made the girl first because ladies first. The second one will be Steve. And the third one is Harold Bryan. Now, I know Harold Bryan is not a Minecraft character. It's a creepy pasta character. And I love creepy pasta characters. So I just threw that one in just for cause, just because. I just felt like making him, he kind of looks like Steve. So I made him Steve's evil twin brother. And Alexa and Steve aren't married, I don't think. But I made them married and a couple in The Sims. But I don't think they are like that in Minecraft or anything like that. But I thought, you know what, it'd be kind of cute and adorable. And I think they'd make a cute and adorable couple. I've seen a lot of people ship Alexa, Ale Alex. I don't know, I, I keep, I, I, it's, her name is so close to Alexa, so, so sorry if I keep calling her Alexa during this, I know her name isn't Alexa, it's Ale Alex, and I'm so sorry that I keep messing up her name. I'm gonna give you guys a little, uh, background of, uh, the skins, I guess. The player is the character that can be controlled in Minecraft. The two default player skins are known as Steve, a name suggested by Notch as a joke, but later confirmed in the change skin menu on Minecraft.net and in game as the default name in Bedrock Edition and Alex with all unchanged skin being split between the two default skins. Appearance. There are two default player skins, typically known as Steve and Alex, assigned to each player based on their account ID if they do not use a custom skin. Steve has dark brown hair, dark skin, nose and mouth, and blue eyes with light blue shirt untucked on the left hand side and in the back a pair of blue jeans gray shoes alex has long bright orange hair hanging to the left side pale white skin and dark green eyes with a light green shirt untucked on both sides and a green and a dark green belt draped around it, a pair of brown pants, grayish boots, pinkish lips. I think it Alexis first, and I think she came out really cute. I think I gave her pink lips. Try to make them look like their skin, the skin as much as possible. And I know they don't have eyelashes, but I gave both of them eyelashes. Even Harrowbrine got eyelashes. I know they don't have eyelashes, but. I gave it to them because I think it looks really good on them. I gave Alexis, I gave, I just gave her makeup and I know she doesn't have a makeup but I thought it would, it just made her look more cuter. I just think she came out really good and she looks really cute and I know she doesn't wear makeup but I put it on her anyways. Yeah, that is pretty much it with Alexa and Steve. Harold Bryan is the subject of a community made creepy pasta. He is one of the major community icons of Minecraft, yet Herobrine has not been present in any version of Minecraft. Canon version of Herobrine is widely regarded as the first image slash story 
ever posted about heroin, as well as the Brookcraft stream. Anything posted after these two events are considered as fan-made adaption slash variation uh exist existence herobrine is not in minecraft i made him but he's not a minecraft skin he he's not a player when you log into minecraft it's either alexis or steve that you get for the skin and herobrine is not one of them there are no references to him at all in the source code and there is no code to allow for any entity to act like Herobrine. There is no level terrain code to generate tunnels or elaborate dungeons with traps. There is no possible way Herobrine can ever exist in any unmodded quints or servers. Any claims that he is a Minecraft are completely false. Any appearances he may have are caused by either mods being installed or because of another player using the skin. All signs are Ryan like trees with no leaves, random glowstone towers, sub suspicious messages on signs, etc. are either placed by another player to mislead other players or are generated through third party mods. So there you have it. Herobrine is just a creepypasta character that somebody made up. He is not in Minecraft at all but I thought it would be kind of cool to have him in The Sims. Of course I just made him as uh, Steve's evil twin brother but Steve obviously doesn't have a brother so it is Alex and Steve that are the main <clears throat> skins that you start off with in Minecraft but yeah that is the end of this video you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I love Alexa she is so pretty and I couldn't find hair that like went I wanted like the hair that went over her shoulder because she has like kind of uh, kind of hair that goes over her, her one shoulder but the hair that I gave her I think that would be perfect for her. I feel like she would have her hair up because she's going out adventuring and like that. And I tried to find uh, an outfit that looked exactly like the outfits that they wear. And I think I did a really good job. I hope you guys think I did too. And if you guys think I did a good job, give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see all you beautiful night owls in the next video. Goodbye.